Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything Teams. I'm Andy Batiste and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Teams assignment. Alright guys, let's get straight into it. So like I said, today we're going to go through and show you how to set up a Teams assignment. But first, don't forget, if you like the content Nathan and I push out, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell button so you're going to get notified every time we bring out new content. Teams assignments is probably one of the coolest features of Microsoft Teams. It's a really cool way to create and push out work to your students, be able to view it, track it in real time, have them hand it in and you'll be able to give feedback, hand it back to them, grade it, create rubrics. There's so many cool features of team assignments. So today we're going to go through just the basics in how to set up a Teams assignments and push that out to your students. So you're going to head over to the left and click on assignments. When you hit that, that's going to bring you to this window we have here. And you get the choices between choose from existing, which is where you can choose in a previous assignment that may already have some default attachments or rubrics or things set up. So that will be a bit of a time saver. You can choose a quiz which is using Microsoft Forms, so you can create a Forms as an assignment. The student can complete that quiz and that will hand in and add to their gradebook. We're going to choose this one up here which is an assignment which is where we're going to start from scratch. So it's essentially going through and filling out some of the details of the assignment. So the first one is your title, giving it a title, I'm going to call this a science report. You can add a category, it could be a flip lesson, a worksheet, it could be formative or summative, whatever you want to do, you can add a little tag to it. Then you, you can add your instructions, if you have any, I generally don't add any instructions, but if you have specific things you need to say, that's where you're going to write them there. And then you can either attach the resource or it could be the task sheet, and this is where you want to attach the work, that you, where you want to actually get the students to complete the work. So it could be a Word document, Excel. PowerPoint, you can even distribute a page from your class notebook. So I'm just going to choose a Word document because that's going to be the simplest one that most people will go ahead and do. Boom. And you can see at the moment the default is students can't edit. We're going to need to change that. So we're going to head over to the three dots. I'm going to change that because I do want the students to be able to edit their copy. You can choose whether you want to allocate points to this assignment or not. You can leave it as nothing if you simply just want the students to complete it handed in. You could go with something simple like a 5.8 to E scale and as you get to maybe your larger assignments you might want to look at adding a rubric and things like that as well. That can be a bit more complicated, I might step you through that in another video. Choose which team you want to assign that to, so this is going to whatever team you're currently in, that's the default, but you can assign that to other classes if you want as well. And choose whether you want to push that out to all students, whether you want to do individual students or group of students which is creating group assignments and again I'll go through that in a different video. Coming up with your due date and your due time you can change those to suit whatever you want and whether you want that assignment to be posted now or a really cool feature in Teams is being able to schedule that assignment in the future. So if you hit schedule you can choose when you want that assignment to actually post. So you might have a bit of time in your hand you can go through and say that I'm going to set up all of my assignments for the upcoming week and have them all just ready to push out, whether it's at the start of the lesson, the end of the lesson, whenever you want that assignment to post, that's when it's gonna post on there. So you can have a look at scheduling as well, it's a really cool feature. I'm gonna keep it simple, and then down the bottom we have a couple of extra options here. Whether you want the assignment to add to the student's calendar, you can go with none, students only, students and me, or students and team owners. So whichever one of those suits your needs, choose that. And then you can choose where you want that assignment to actually post. So you can see here, it's going to post to one dot assignments. This is my channels over here on the left. So you can see number one is assignments. If I hit edit there, I can choose where I want that assignment to actually post. So the idea of doing this is creating a channel for assignments. That's just going to keep your general channel a lot freer. And you can just keep that for generally posting messages out to the students. And they're not going to get lost and confused with all the different assignments. And the students always know where to go every time an assignment is posted. So it's a specific channel or it could be for a specific topic. And the last one we have is turn it in. So this generally only works with your Word documents, which is luckily we have up here. This is where it's going to run that turn it in software and it's going to actually run a bit of a plagiarism check on the student's work. So depending if it's just a worksheet or something simple, you may leave that off. 
But when you go into your actual proper assignments so that you want the students to hand in, you might turn that on. So you're going to get that turn it in report of the student's work. Once you've finished handing and filling out all that information, you can save it if you want. You can discard it if you don't like it. But when you're ready to go, you hit the assign button. And then it's just a waiting game. It can often take 30 seconds to a minute for that assignment to actually load and distribute out to the students. So you can see that notification has come up there. And if I go in and click on that assignment, I can see my students. I can go in and click on that assignment. I can see Matthew Beaton's science report and I can see how much work he has done or hasn't done. I could give him some feedback. I can give him some points out of five and then I can either return that assignment or I can return for revision. So if I've given him specific feedback, I can hand that for revision that means he needs to go and add some stuff to his work and then rehand his assignment in. But it's really quick and easy to go through and check in on the students so you can see at any time before they've handed in, as long as you've created a resource, the student can always see what the students are doing. So there you go, that is how to create an assignment in Microsoft Teams.